963. Okay? You both nailed it. You're good. Okay. And who are these people? What's their background? Right? Who are the people that got killed? Of 963, how many do you think were black? Um, I would say about 600 will be black. 600. And then like the rest will be like maybe Hispanic. 600 like. black. What would you say? Probably like 500. How many were black? Okay, so here we go. Okay, yeah. so we're off, right? If you, you know, if you're, if you're, what do you think about that number? Um, this is actually kind of surprising. I honestly thought it would be more black people because they show more black people getting like, uh -huh. kind of, they like make it seem like black people are always getting like killed by the cops. Okay, go to the next one. So 233 black people were killed by the police in 2016 out of a population of 39 million. Okay? How would you answer that young man's question? Am I next? How would you answer his question? You, you. Um, I would honestly say yes because I just feel like, I don't know, like I feel like it's harder being a black male Hello again, ladies and gentlemen. I hope everyone's had a great Christmas wherever you are around the world. Now, let's have a look at this video. Since that last one, I mean, it's, it's gotten me thinking and I've, I've been going through a few of the videos from his page. This is the professor. He is still at Penn State University. A lot of people think he is not. But as you can see on here, he does have another video. So this is the statistics on cop on black crime. So this is interesting to see. He points the fact out that a lot of people are talking about certain things, especially in this day and age, where they don't know much about that. So they would, they would go off, let's say, for example, a post on Facebook where it says, let's just, we're talking hypothetically here, uh, 400 Asian people were killed by American police unarmed, and someone would believe that. And then there's a whole movement, there's a whole kind of rioting and everything that happens, and then they eventually find out, oh, it's not true. But a lot of people don't even want to accept the fact that they are wrong, so let's get into this, have a listen, and let me know what you think below. Let me know in the comments what you think. Do you agree with him? Do you disagree? Do you agree with the two girls who are on the stage? Let me know below. Please like the video if you liked it, and subscribe as well if you do want to see future videos as well. And obviously the page is SOC119, Sociology Studying in Penn State. So it's quite interesting. If you do want to watch these videos yourself, you can go onto his page, SOC119. So let's have a listen to him here. So this guy started it, and here's what he said. What it says, I am not going to stand up to show pride in a flag for a country that oppresses black people and people of color. To me, this is bigger than football, and it would be selfish on my part to look the other way. And that's Colin Kaepernick of the San Francisco 49ers. Back then, um, he's a quarterback in the NFL. Obviously, we now know a lot more about this guy, and we know that he is a fraud. Like, he is a fraud to fullest of terms he did this after being benched then he suddenly had this movement and he still tries to be in the nfl even though he's not good enough and he always pulls the race card every single time he doesn't get signed it's just because he's not a good quarterback anymore he was for a couple of years but he dropped off big time and he tried to make everything about political and skin color instead of worrying about his game and he's got like a lifetime deal with nike and all this type of stuff so he's, he's well off and he was actually adopted by white parents and now he's come out and tried to say that uh they, they were actually racist to me because they asked me why do you wear your your hair like in corn braids you look like a little thug or something like that and now he's come out and said that that's actually racist and i just think it's because most parents don't want their kids to have corn braids they probably just say have a nice neat haircut that's all probably most parents want but anyway let's continue it's bigger than football oppresses black people and we're talking about violence. This initially emerged as a result of violence against black people, killing black people, okay? Go to the next slide. What's it take? This, hap this is from just last week in St. Louis. Protests that arose as a result of the, 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 the plea of police killing a young black man. 
who was running from them and they were driving away from them and where all sorts of things happened, but the police was, the police officer got off. And so people went out into the street. And so the question is, what's it take to get people out into the street? Um, I think it takes, like, I don't know, just killing, like, when they realize, like, their own people or their own kind is getting shot or getting killed or being oppressed by the cops, that's when it just takes them, like, this is just it, like, I have to protest. I have to protest. It's yes. done. Yeah. Something happens, something I see, it's just, it's done, I'm, I'm out, I'm mm -hmm. in the streets. So let's look at the data, because I see signs like this, I ple police must stop shooting us. It's a genocide. I was going to put a sign up and I didn't take it down. Someone had a sign that said, it's a genocide of black people. Mm -hmm. right? Genocide of black people, okay? So we're going to look at the data here. Go to the next one. People, how, people were killed by the police in 2016. How many people were killed by the police in 2016? I don't want to guess because I got it so wrong last time. No, that's okay. No, <laughs> guess, guess, guess. That's what this is about. I'm going to say 1,000. Um, this is all people. It's all people? All people. Wow. I think 1,000 too. What do you all think? What do you think? I guess you'd have to, like, if I had to guess, I'd be guessing if it was just in total people killed. I'm guessing around maybe just over a thousand, maybe. That's probably my guess what it would be. All right, here we go. 2016, 963. Okay? You both nailed it. You're good. Who are these people? What's their background? Right? Who are the people that got killed? Of 963, how many do you think were black? Um, I would say about... 600 will be black, 600. and then like the rest will be like maybe Hispanic. 600 like. black, what would you say? Probably like 500. All right, so he's asking how many out of the 963 were black. I'd probably guess, you know, if I had a guess just off the top of my head, I'd say about 350, maybe 400. So maybe just under half, you know, about 40%, about 30 something percent. Okay, so here we go. Two hundred thirty-three are black. Okay. Or sixty-five white. So we're off, right? If you, you know, if you're, if you're, what do you think about that number? Um, this is actually kind of surprising. I honestly thought it would be more black people because they show more black people getting like. Uh huh. I know. They like make it seem like black people are always getting like killed by the cops more than. White. It's as hard. That's all I see. In the media like. Twitter. I only seen one video of a white guy getting shot like seven times. But that was that was just like a couple days ago. Apart from that, uh huh. What would no, you yeah, say? I find that kind of surprising too. But like I agree. Like I see more media like showing black people getting killed by police than white people. So it's probably just like in my mind since I see it more than it happens more. Yeah. Like I, I agree. Like I mean, what the news obviously pushes always the pop on black crime like that's always a big thing in my opinion that's what they always push and it's because it sells more i mean it won't sell as much if you see a white guy being shot or a hispanic person being shot um, no one would really care but it's for some reason it's easier to sell the racist cop theory than it is to sell you know normal cop kills white person it's 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 just much easier to sell it the other way and that's kind of sad is that the media is one of the reasons why there's more division in most Western countries. I think they asked in a poll in America where they asked, um, do you think that white people are racist? And majority of, so over 50% um, of black people said, yes, they are. So it's very, very sad that they think a whole race is just racist. And more than 50% of that poll said yes, which is just insane to me. And I guess that's to where it's going is because what do you see on TV every day? You see these things. What do you see on Twitter? What do you see on X? Like all these type of things. That's all you see. And that's what gets the clicks. It's what gets the likes. And that's what they're pushing. So of course you're going to think that's what it is. And that's what's interesting to see that people actually do a bit of research and they see for themselves that, mm, look, maybe that's not very right. Okay. Um, so go to the next one. So here's the likelihood of being killed by the police. This is not, you know, if you're doing illegal activity, this is just breaking it down. 
So you have one in 250,000 for black people. White people, clearly you're less likely to be killed if you're white. And is, are those numbers large? Are those numbers large to you? Yeah. They are? What were you, like? Is one in 250,000, is that high? <laughs> go ahead, no, go ahead. I don't, I don't really know. Like, it, it's a lot, like that ratio is a lot different than the rest. Which you is, can, an okay, hang on. Like, okay. <laughs> well, you, why don't you answer it in the same way that you answered the other question? It depends. Yeah. I asked you the same question. Is I know, that high? I know, I know, yeah, no. It, it's not high, but it still does depend on the situation. I don't know what I'm trying to say. No, 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 hang on. I'll help you, though. No, I'm not trying to trap you, by <laughs> no, the no, way. Okay. The same answer flies yeah. here. Because it, it just depends. It's hot. It's still one out of 250,000 is still high. Yeah. One out of 250 million is high. If you're that one person and if that's your family, like if that's someone in your family, it doesn't matter if it's one out of 250 million. It matters. If, you were, if, it's your, if your father is the only police police officer in the line of duty in all of the next 10 years, that's still too high. It's still unacceptable to you, right? What do you think about the number, one in 250,000? Um, I actually think that's, I don't know. I think that's pretty high, just because it's like a person, no matter like every life matters. So like, I think one out of 250,000 is like, I don't know, I honestly don't know. Okay, but listen, can you, can I throw something at you now? Yeah. Okay, we haven't talked about what these people were doing, what people were doing who were killed mm -hmm. by the police, right? So if I'm a criminal and I'm trying to shoot her father, yeah. and then her father's partner, somebody shoots me, yeah. then that's not a high number. That one in 250,000, I was trying to kill somebody and I got shot in the process. So that's not inherently a problem. It's either I kill this innocent person, like if I'm going to try to kill you, mm -hmm. let's say, right? And the, somebody shoots me, yeah. you're like, thank God you shoot that, shot that knucklehead, right? Yeah. So right now, these numbers don't really mean a lot. Are we cool? They don't really mean a lot because we don't know what they are. So we can say, well, yeah, look, it's one in 250. Well, clearly, black people are more likely to get killed. Well, maybe black people are doing more things to provoke the police. So like, we don't know that. We really don't know yet. So we got to go further. You see, like, you got to keep going further. Are you, are you there? Are you following me? Yeah. I know okay. You. All right, man. Are we cool? Got it? This is a thinking class right now. I'm walking you through some thinking. Okay, go to the next one. <laughs> the one was sleeping. So 233 black people were killed by the police in 2016 out of a population of 39 million. All right, let's just, I want to show you guys the statistics a statistic real quickly so this is for the years leading after this okay so this is 2017 this is the one he's the year after he's talking about and he had 222 black people killed 458 white and 180 hispanic um then 983 killed in 2018 yet again about the same numbers if you can see there 228 black 459 white 167 hispanic 999 so i mean it, it's sticking pretty close and pretty similarly every year with the pretty much the same numbers maybe you know black people have jumped a little bit here by 20 something and white people have dropped by 30. see so much lower numbers there again obviously maybe due to covid not sure but yet again in total you know 1048 208 unknown and then this one here 1097 a lot unknown again what are these unknown is what i want to know right like that's quite a big number of unknown and then 2023 so far 196 white 124 black that's much closer this year actually how would you answer that young man's question am i next how would you answer his question you, you... um i would honestly say yes oh because i just feel like I don't know. Like, I feel like it's harder being a black male. No, but what do you mean? That like, you, he, he's saying, am I, am I next? Yeah. Am I next? You're saying, yes, you are next? I mean, like, not like, I mean, like, he better watch out the things he does. Okay, because, got you. Yeah. Yeah. Watch out. Yeah, just You're, watch out because, like, he's kind of like a target, you know? His appearance, you know, he looks like a typical black male, so. What would you say? I... I think that opinion does make sense. Like, I agree with the, like, watch your back thing, but also, like, 
watch the situations you get yourself into as well. You know, what I, like mm -hmm. if you're in a more dangerous situation, then more can go wrong than if you're not. But I do agree that like if a white guy was holding that sign, it would be more likely for the black guy to Got have you. to be more in danger of getting hurt than the white guy. Okay. All right, let's go one more. Are we cool? So, yeah. <laughs> it's, it's hard, I guess. She has the victim mentality. I mean, if that guy was going to die, he'll be one out of 250,000 people, right? One out of 250,000 black people. Um, so the chances are, no, he is not next. I mean, if you think about just pure numbers spectacle, I mean, percentage, you are very unlikely to be killed by a police officer. I mean, one out of 250,000, very, very low if you are black. And one out of 700,000 if you're white. So it's very low. And if you probably are a law-abiding citizen and you listen to, if you get pulled up, you say, yes, sir, no, yep, here's my whatever driver's license, whatever you got to do, you are not going to get shot. Um, if you're going to put yourself in a dangerous situation like the other girl said, then your chances probably go up. And... I would love to see the statistics on that. So where, let's say, if you are a white male and you get pulled up by the police and you become violent, your your chance of being shot by the police are now one in, you know, 2,000. And then if you're black and same thing happens, you're in a car, police pull you up and you become violent, your chance of being shot is now one in 500. It would be better if they kind of work it out that way instead of just saying out of the whole population because... Most of the population of any, any race follow the law and they listen to the law and they don't get themselves in these situations where they'll probably get shot. And unfortunately, most out of all these cases we've seen, like the George Floyd situation, I mean, Ahmad Aubrey, all these situations, a lot of white people as well, where people, you know, get all angry at the police because they killed him. They were criminals. These people were drug dealers. These people were people who went to jail. So these are not good people, even though they try to always make him out to be, you know, you look at the news station that posts a picture and it's them in their, for example, ball shirts and they look nice and clean and, um, you know, very like the, they got their, the whole life in front of them, right? Even though behind the scenes, this person is a criminal and people don't want to talk about that. I mean, they put themselves in dangerous situations and unfortunately something bad happened to them. Yet again, is it, is it right that it happened? No, I'm not defending the police at all. But I'm saying they, they're putting themselves in a situation where they're more likely to be killed. Okay, we're going to go one more. Ready? So how many of the 963 people were unarmed? This is what we're talking about here, right? Remember the story? It's like, if, I'm, if I got a gun to the, to, to the two of you, right? Like I have a gun to your heads. That's very different than if I'm just like walking up next to you or behind you and somebody sees me and shoots me because they think I'm going to do harm to you, right? It's like very different. If I have a weapon, if I don't have, if I say, hey, I'm going to kill these two people and I'm standing here and I have no weapon on me, I have nothing and the police shoot me anyway, it's very different than if I'm standing here with a knife saying I'm going to kill these two people. Okay, are we good with that? So how many of the 963 people were unarmed? How many do you think they, how many do you think were unarmed? Of the 900, Let's see, out of 963, how many do you think were unarmed? Unarmed, you'd probably only go 50 or 60. That'll just be my guess. I mean, let me know, what, what do you guys think? How many were unarmed out of all that 920, 963 people? 963, what do you think? Four. Unarmed, 963, we're talking white people. How many do you all think? Point, turn to the person next to you, what do you think? Okay, here we go. Go to the next slide. So here are the numbers. This was the most comprehensive analysis of the data done by a research team at the Washington Post. It's not 100% accurate, but it's pretty accurate. So 69 unknown, but unknown enough that they didn't throw them in the unarmed category. In, you know, in, in a vehicle, can we be clear about a vehicle? That's a vehicle trying to run over police. Toy guns. A lot of those people, of course, were committing suicide in all likelihood because that seems to be a form. What do you think about that number? Hang on. Can I ask you first? What do you think about that number? You said 
600. I said 550. 500. Um, I'm actually, I'm actually kind of like shocked. I honestly thought like, I'm not saying like the media, like, I don't know. They just made it seem like, you know, the guy was innocent, you know, he was just trying to go about his way. But I don't know, like this is, I don't know the numbers they took or the guys they took it from or whatever. But I just think it's just crazy how five, 517 had a gun. I would think it would be less than that. Yeah, okay. To be you, honest. Yeah. yeah, so you certainly think it would be more. Way Especially given what you just said about looking at your Twitter feed and yeah. Facebook and social media and, and so on, right? I mean, well, like, we know, like, the media just ex exaggerates everything, so I guess not to pay attention to it. What do you think about the number? I'm actually pretty surprised by it, too, but when I think about it, more, I guess, like, since the media does portray more of those stories where the person is unarmed, so, again, like, it makes me think that there are more cases of unarmed things, but clearly there's not. So, yeah, I, I guess the one girl said over 500, um, the other one said 400. To me, that is just insane if you've done any sort of research, right? Yet again, I guess they're, they're young, they're uni students, and they probably haven't studied on this much, even though they probably should. Yeah, I almost feel like if you guess over even a quarter, so if you guess over 200, that's that's really it shows you don't know much about this whole situation. I mean, I don't even live in the United States, and I even know that it's that much lower. That's why I guess around that 50, 60, because police don't just go out and shoot people for no reason. They just don't do that. And unfortunately, yes, like the girl said, the media the media portrays it. It's not that they also portray it. It's just that why would anyone watch the news if they just like, oh, another guy tried to run over a cop and the police officer shot him. And oh, a guy had a gun, pulled a gun on a cop and the cop shot him. No one would watch that. Unfortunately, the only things people watch and get that angry about that they go out in the streets and riot and do, you know, billions of dollars of damage is when they are unarmed. So that's what sells, right? So 22 out of 233 black people who police killed in 2016 were unarmed. 22 out of 233, okay? So now the question is, so that means you have a 0.6 chance in a million. 0.6 chance, about half of 1% in a million of being unarmed, black skin, and killed by the police. So now, when you answer that guy's question, am I next? What's your, what would be your answer to that question? Um, 22 out of 233 black people, I think that's a lot. Go with the so, bottom one. 0.6 out of a million. If he stays on our arm, you say, bro, listen, in spite of the, how you're dressed, despite of who you are, if you, or if you remain unarmed, right, okay. that's the likelihood of you being killed by the police. I think it's a lot because even 0.1 would be a lot to me. So it goes back to what, to what Brianna said. Mm -hmm. Brianna, right? Brenna. Brenna? Yeah. What Brenna said. It's like it's still to that one family. It matters. Okay. And so what I'm going to say to the two of you is, look, is the glass half full or is the glass half empty? It's like it just depends. We can argue that that's a high number. We can argue that's a low number. We can argue it's exaggerated. We can argue like, no, man, it's not exaggerated. It's still really high. Like, what is it? You can make the argument in lots of different directions. But what I want to say is, look, if we're going to make the arguments and if we're going to get involved in protests like, can you go to the next slide, bro? That, if you're going to protest like that, but this whole thing is based on police violence against black and brown people. So if you're going to protest, really step out in this way, you got to know what you're protesting. It's really important to understand what it is. You know what I mean? Is it like 600 unarmed people or is it, hang on, 42 or 48 or like what, what, what are we looking at here? Like, is it a genocide? So when I see someone holding a sign up that says, stop the genocide of black people at a protest, and I'm saying, I wouldn't call that a genocide. There's a lot happening here, but that's not what I would call it.
And so for me, as someone who's talking about race relations, who sees these things from lots of perspective, it's really important that we know what we're talking about so that we can be confident and have realistic and good conversations. Because I agree with you. I mean, yeah, it's still high. And yet, it's not what most people think. If I, if I put a microphone, if I went to that protest in St. Louis last week and I walked around with the microphone and I started asking people, hey man, how many people was it last year? How many people? And each one of those, and even the people who are armed, it doesn't matter, it's a life, right? But if I start asking that question, people are going to give me these really, really high answers. I'm sure 5,000, 8,000, I have no idea. It's like, no, man, that's not bringing us where we need to go. Well said. Like, I, I want to finish on that where when he asked the girl 0 0.6 out of a million, and she still says, mm, you know, kind of, she still wants to push her point. But the thing that I want to finish it on is with the unarmed statistic, they never showed that that's also people that try to attack police unarmed. So these are people trying to, you know, that are punching police officers that end up getting shot or, you know, getting fatally killed. This is not what they describe. They don't show that in the video, do they? And he doesn't show the statistics on that as well. So just because there was 22 unarmed black people killed, some of those might have been trying to punch the police. Same with the white people who are unarmed. Same with the Latino people who are unarmed, for example. So it's not just the one race. I'm not trying to point that out, but I'm just trying to point out that these statistics were still flawed because he didn't say that the opportunity of them attacking the police officers or them trying to grab their gun because I've seen a few videos where people try to grab a police officer's gun and they get shot. Or if they're fighting with the police and the police ended up shooting them, and they died from that wound. These are also things that happen. So just because they say unarmed, it doesn't mean that they were just innocent people, right? But anyway, I'll end it on that. If you did like the video, please leave a like. Support the channel by subscribing and comment as well. Let me know what you thought about the whole thing. Um, I'd love to hear your guys' opinion on it. Um, it's always interesting to hear back what everyone thinks about it. So please let me know below. And thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.